Hey guys, we're going to be taking a look at Assault Android Cactus Plus. Uh, this may be, you know, a lost gem of a kind of game. My friend says it's pretty old, but he saw my Monkey Barrel. Uh, well, actually, he noticed that I liked Monkey Barrel, so he thought maybe I should play this one. This one does have local multiplayer too, he says, so always kind of nice. Yes. I got booked. You guys know that I don't have a pro controller. <laughs> I mean, I saw the thing, it was like 90 bucks. I live in Canada, so it's $90. I feel like I don't think I necessarily need it, but maybe one day. Copy that. You're looking at the Yankee Star. It sent a garbled message three days ago before going silent. We need you in close to scan for anomalies. Weapons lock detected. Preparing for evasive maneuvers. Weapons lock? That's a strange. There's a lot of lasers pointed at me. I think it used to be their asteroid defense system. How come uh, the camera's not on her face? <laughs> it almost looked like it was focused on her chest for some reason. Oh, there you go. I hate those forms. I'll take my chances with the lasers. Listen to me, Cactus. The hangar is sealed. There's no way on board. I think I see an opening. Visually very impressed thus far. It's okay folks. I'm the police. Commence being calm. That was amazing. I thought we were done for. Well, I can't believe you hit those robots with your ship. Oh, no problem. I do that kind of thing all the time. Save people or crash into things. Both? Move, aim and shoot. Okay. Shoot to continue, okay. Collect energy. Collect energy to power up, okay. Yeah, so what he told me too is that uh, four of you guys can play this at the same time, local multiplayer, four player, which is really good. Weapons or dodge? I feel like switching weapons and dodge shouldn't be the same button. Whoa! It's a lot of firepower. I mean, visually it looks good. I'm not super impressed with the level design. I mean, basically I'm in a square. Maybe this is just more like the tutorial, which is okay. Battery up. A little Chung Li pose there. Does someone want to fill me in? The ship's entire robot workforce is out to get us. Their masters, the four section lords, who are supposed to be protecting us, went nuts two days ago. And we've been fighting to survive ever since. We are not part of their little uprising because androids have independent cores. But that just means we're targeted along with the humans. Section lords can't take over ships. Your Nexus core is in charge. Why is she letting this happen? The core stopped responding three days ago. We were still investigating when the section lords made their move. Then our priority is getting your core back online. She's the one who can regain control. Someone, lead the way. Hold on there, space cop. There's a hundred thousand homicidal robots and three kilometers of ship between us and the core. Yeah? Who in their right mind would expect total strangers to follow them into certain death? Oh, right. I didn't introduce myself. My name's Cactus. Oh. Now the name makes just a little bit more sense. Look at this one. 
Looks like it has the most armor. Well, I don't think there's a difference between the characters. Oh, maybe. This one starts off with like a spray gun. Oh my good. Yes, it looks like the dodge button and the changing weapon button is the same, which seems not very functional. Sometimes you would want to change your weapon and sometimes you just want to dodge, so I don't, I don't really get it. Or maybe I haven't been dodging. Is that, is that a dodge? No, it's a change weapon. Is that dodge? Maybe, yeah, uh, maybe I read it wrong. I don't know. Firepower. There's a lot of these guys. Oh, can I get over here? Oh, I can go over here. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, visually, this looks amazing. Um, somewhat fun. Oh, boss battle, okay. Maybe, maybe this will make me change my initial thoughts about this game. So far, I have to say, Monkey Brails is a little bit better. I think I think what gets to me is, is really the level design. It seems to be just a square all the time. Next turbine. See that. I mean, if you want to put in something quick, then there's, you know, you have like three, well, maybe just even one friend over. Seems okay. Yeah, I think I just don't like the enclosed. Levels and the enclosed maps it makes it seem not as fun. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm just walking around in circles here. And I know when you play the other ones, uh, you know, where you are, you kind of do the same thing. You kind of just run around and shoot. But I think because it doesn't change, you know, as, as quickly, it seems. Like, I'm kind of just doing the same thing over and over. Something's wrong here, so I have no battery. Oh. Collect battery recharge or quickly before they dissipate. Hmm. Okay, Let's try that again. Hmm. So yeah, I mean if I if I want to design like the perfect top-down shooter, I maybe mean, not perfect, but you know, best of both worlds. I, mean, I really love these graphics. I think these graphics are probably top notch. You know, these graphics with, you know, monkey barrel levels, I think that'd be insane. That'd be really good. And uh, when I made the previous video on monkey barrels, I did it in dock mode. It looks okay. But then I played it in handheld mode, and that thing just looks awful. It just looks like blurred colors. It's okay still. I, mean, I don't play handheld all that much. Mostly play primarily dock, so it's okay. 
Okay, I have to collect stuff. How do I collect stuff? Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna run out again. Hmm. Okay, I guess this level's trying to show me how I can just stay on the outside all the time. I have to be inside to collect these little white things that I guess is battery? Yeah, okay, the battery looks pretty good. Okay, it's so have to be on the inside. Oh no. So even when I kill these guys, I should... Well, that red one is just... Not dying. Okay. Whoa. Alright, it's a lot more difficult if you stay in the middle. <laughs> I don't know guys, you guys have this game? Uh, apparently it's pretty old, that's what my friend said. I don't know exactly when it came out. Do you guys like this more than most top-down shooters? Weapons are just insane. Maybe if I got a sense of, you know, how far I am in a level, you know, some sense of what I'm working towards. Oh, there you go. <laughs> as I was asking them, they they put it. The number of enemies remaining. These are the last three guys. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more level here. Take a break. Oh no, it's dark. Okay. okay, I feel pretty safe in this square here. So this is the, the best level thus far. So for the big boys, I should be using uh, the other gun. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Whoa! Whoa! A lot of things to dodge here. Oh no, I get that battery. Oh yeah! Okay, there you go. Okay, that guy's dead. I need a battery. You know what? I have no choice. Oh no. What? Oh. You could respawn? 
Alright. Okay, four enemies left. I mean, it's very forgiving. I mean, even though it looks crazy with all the bolts coming at you. I mean, the fact that you can respawn, the fact that the you know you start with a widespread gun, it seems like maybe if you're new to top-down shooters, you don't play a lot of them. It's this is this is the one to play. I mean, the fact that you're locked in, it's maybe easier. You know, I played a few top-down shooters. I mean, I like top-down shooters, so... so maybe, maybe it's just not my kind. Maybe I've just played too many. I guess for me, I like to aim a little bit more. I do like these attack patterns though by the uh, by the enemies. It seems so chaotic, I and mean, there's always so much to dodge. That's kind of fun. Where's the battery? Oh no. battery there. You gotta risk my life to get it. Wait, how many respawns do I have? That's strange. Oh no, crazy. <laughs> okay, you're telling me there's unlimited respawns? I'm kind of just getting killed just to, just to see. Let's, let's get killed again. Wow! Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess this is more like a like a party party style top down shooter. You know, you get three friends over with it. You know, they don't really play top down shooters. Maybe more casual friends, and then they can just uh, keep respawning. You know, it's not bad. It's okay. All right, so the game serves a purpose. I mean, if I want to play top-down shooter with uh, three of my friends that come over who don't play any at all, then yeah, this is the one to put on. It's all right. Whoa! Oh, this is a boss battle. Oh, okay. Damn. Spawn kill. Hacks. I think I do need to find out which button actually is dodge. I think I might stay in the middle here. Looks like you can't get me. <laughs> That's funny. All right, easy peasy. Oh. Okay, this I like. This game should be all like this. Just different bosses, different attack patterns, approach you different. And yeah, I can play this. I guess this game's kind of growing on me. Ooh, go get the battery. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is really creative. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in his belly. If I stay in his belly, it seems like he can't get me. Cool. Whoa, okay, okay. Oh no! Got me. Okay, I'm having a lot of fun with this guy. Jeez. Uh, this pattern is crazy. No. Why? <laughs> Alright guys, so there you have it. Cactus Android Plus. Is that, is that what it's called? I don't have such a weird name. <laughs> Anyways, uh, game didn't start out that great. I don't like how you combine to one space, although it, graphically it looks amazing. And uh, the bosses are pretty fun. So yeah, if you want to play top downs and you want to get some of your friends interested in top down shooters, then yeah, this is the one to pick. Boss battle is definitely fun. So until next time, guys. Bye.